Friends of the SAP Analytics Cloud, welcome back to another video about SAC. My name is Xavier Hacking. Uh, you can find my blog at hackingsap.com. We are now at the beginning of 2025, and in just a few weeks, we will have the first big release of the year for SAP Analytics Cloud. So it's time to look at some of the upcoming features. And in this video, I want to have a look at a fun one. It's called the video data story. And the idea is that you can create a short video with some highlights of an SEC story. Yeah, I'm still not really sure about the actual use case of this feature, but I can imagine that when, and let's say you have a story and you want to share only some highlights of it to a group of users that don't have access to the SEC themselves, that would be nice yeah, to, to make some kind of a, a quick video or quick summary of uh, what you want to communicate for them. So let's let's have a look at how this works and what you can achieve with this. First, before we do that, make sure you go into the roles in SEC and look at this video data story option here. So you might need to add some rights here in this role to make this work. I created this very simple uh, story. And what we now can do here in, for example, this, uh, this bar chart, make sure that you go to the styling menu, the quick menus, and then make sure the video data story option is checked here. Otherwise we cannot use it in the view mode. And in addition, um, you have to go to the story details. Scroll down a bit and also enable this option here. Video data story, enable video data story. So when you do that and you run your story, then you have to make sure that you are using the full viewer of uh, the SEC story. So the live viewer doesn't support this. Let's click that link. Now we get all the options. So now I can click on the chart, go to the context menu, check more options. And now we have this video data story option here. So let's click add to video, video data story. Then this bar appears on the screen. And the chart that we just added is shown here as a block. Well, I can add an additional chart. So we now have two blocks and I can also switch them around. And here I can see a preview how this video would then look like. We can also do some more here. We can, for example, <clears throat> switch the orientation. We can also make it a landscape. Portrait. We can also add a, a title screen. Uh, let's call this uh, weekly uh, report. Done. Well, we can also change the background. So we have few options here, some buildings, some mountains, some screens, some coffee. And you can also upload your own background. And you can also switch between light and dark mode. Well, let's go back to the, to the screens here, done. Background mu music is also something you can add. And we can add a logo. So you can either take the SAP logo or the custom logo, which is the logo that you used for your SAC platform.
Well, let's save this. New video data, story, save. And now we can open this in view mode. So we get a new page and we can run this whole data video story. Out. Yeah, so as you can see, it's probably better to use some smaller charts and not show this much detail in uh, this video data story. So make some, let's make some adjustments here. So let's throw out these options. This one as well. And now let's add some other charts. By the way, not all the charts are supported. Also tables cannot be added. So I don't have the option here to add this table to the, to the video. Text widgets are supported. So you can bring in some titles or maybe even some uh, longer texts. So let's start with these uh, KPIs. Add them. Well, then we have this, uh, this pie. Add this as well. There we go. And we have a bar chart. And what we also can do, we can also add filters and sortings and add the results of that in the video as well. So for example, I can here click on these um, carbonated drinks and do a drill. So we now get a second page and let's make that ranking of the top five like this. And also this state I want to add in my video. There we go. I can also add some titles and descriptions. Um, I don't know, it's uh, looking good. And I can adjust the animation. So let's just take this one here. Here I can also decide if I want to have this animation. And because these two charts are kind of linked, eh, because I'm, I'm doing this drill down, I have another option here. I can make this animation smart, smart transition. Save this. Open it in view mode. And if I'm happy with this result, I can hit download. And then I can download this file and share the thread uh, with other people. There we go. I can now download the video. And as you can see, this is a, a WebM file, which you can just uh, share with other users and they can run it, uh, run it in their browser. So the video data story object itself is stored on the SEC repository. You can also share it with other users. 
Um, you can also reuse it later on and sync it with the latest data again. Yes, so I think it's a fun addition to what we have in the SEC. The scenario that I'm currently thinking of is like what I mentioned in the beginning of the video. If you want to share some highlights of a report to a group of users that don't normally use SEC or maybe don't use reporting tools at all. And instead of having to copy paste screenshots from a story into, for example, PowerPoint or uh, something else, this could be a nice way to share th this information. Uh, on the other hand, well, it's extremely static, of course. Um, there's no interactivity with this. So it might be a good addition in the future to, well, include a link to the report like we have for the publication uh, of a story, something like that. But let's see, and uh, just let me know what you think about this. See you next time, bye.